Shared read, genre, realistic fiction. Essential question, how are kids around the world different? Read about a girl celebrating the New Year holiday in the United States and China. Happy New Year. I celebrated the New Year twice in one year. Do you wonder how? I celebrated the holiday in the United States and then in China. On December 31st, our city had a celebration to welcome the New Year. This celebration began with a parade. A band played music and I got my face painted like a lion. Then I watched a man carve animals from ice. We were surrounded by fun. Just before midnight, everyone went to the park. The crowd counted down the last seconds of the old year. Then came my favorite part, the thing I like most. Pop, pop, pop. Fireworks like a shower of colorful light sprinkled down from the sky. Then my family took a plane to China. A plane is huge and travels over the ocean like a whale in the sky. We celebrated Chinese New Year with Grandma. This celebration is different than in the United States. It lasts for 15 days, not just one night. After we arrived, Grandma surprised me with new red clothing. She said red brings good luck. On New Year's Eve, we went to Grandma's house. I learned many interesting Chinese customs. One custom is to have a family dinner that includes tasty dumplings. Then we stepped outdoors to watch a big parade. At the end, a rainbow of firecrackers snapped and popped in the sky. Later that week, we watched the Chinese lion dance. I'd never seen anything like it. Each pair of dancers wore a fancy lion costume made of cloth as yellow as the sun. The dancers leaped through the air and did amazing tricks. We went to the Lantern Festival on the last day of Chinese New Year. The full moon hung like a balloon in the dark sky. Everyone made paper lanterns that lit up the night. The two celebrations were different. They were the same, too. They had one thing in common. They were both exciting family celebrations to welcome the new year. Make connections. How is the New Year celebration in China different from the celebration in the United States? Compare the New Year celebrations in the story to how you and your family celebrate the new year. Comprehension Strategy Visualize When you visualize, you use the author's words to form pictures in your mind about a story. Find text evidence After reading page 291 of Happy New Year, I used the author's words to help me visualize what was happening in the story. I read that there was a band playing music and the girl got her face painted like a lion. This helps me visualize the story. Reread page 293. What words help you visualize the Chinese lion dance? Here's page 293. Let's look up at the top. Later that week, we watched the Chinese lion dance. I'd never seen anything like it. Each pair of dancers wore a fancy lion costume made of cloth as yellow as the sun. The dancers leaped through the air and did amazing tricks. Can you visualize what the Chinese lion dance must look like? When you visualize, you're understanding the context of the story. Now let's take a look at the other comprehension skill, compare and contrast. When you compare events in a story, you look for ways they are alike. When you contrast events, you tell how they are different. Find text evidence. On page 292 of Happy New Year, I can compare how long the Chinese New Year and the United States New Year last. Look at the chart. 
On one side, I see United States celebration, and on the right hand, the right column, it says Chinese celebration. How long it lasts? United States celebration, one night. Chinese celebration, 15 days. Activities. What kind of activities are in the United States celebration? What kind of activities can be found in the Chinese celebration? It's your turn. You're going to reread the story and compare and contrast the information to fill into the graphic organizer. Make sure you set up your organizer as it's shown here with what you're comparing on the left hand side and up at the top you'll want to type in United States Celebration and on the right Chinese Celebration. Then submit your completed graphic organizer for a grade.